So here we have a uh, piece of a barn beam that was dropped off. And uh, this was about a three foot cut off that was going to be discarded from someone, I guess, reassembling a barn. They really didn't say. But uh, we're going to try to make a salvage doll out of it. I'm pretty sure that it's either hemlock or some kind of pine. We'll find out as we uh, clean the wood up a little bit. Okay, should be interesting. So the beam has now been cut up into some turning stock one for a medium and two large dolls. And we've got some arms and legs and we've also saved some of the nice old surface in order to have a good stand to uh, put the dolls on. And now we'll start getting ready to rough out our doll body. All right, now we're going to turn our square piece of barn beam wood into a round piece of barn beam wood. So now we've got the shape of the body roughed out. And being hemlock, it's a very, sorry about that, very coarse grained wood, so very ragged, so we'll have to do a lot of sanding to get that smoothed off. But our little doll is starting to take shape. Alright, so we've got the body pretty much flushed out, or turned out. And now I'm working on the face, so what I'm going to do is carve in the uh, mouth. Alright, well, we've got the face pretty well carved out now. He's looking pretty good, nice and smooth. And I knew there was a happy little fella just hiding in that old piece of wood. All right, we'll move on to the legs and arms. And there we go. We've just about got our upper legs all done. Looking good. Okay, most of the leg work is now done. We've got the body, the upper leg, lower leg, upper arm, lower arm, and the nose. So now we have to go through and start applying the finish, the first layer of finish, do the finish sanding, and then the articulation will begin. Alright, so uh, since our doll is going to be a farmer from a barn beam, at least that's what the client wants, uh, we decide to go with a pitchfork. So we're going to try to make a pitchfork to give them a little extra character. So we're at the point now where 
the doll has been cut up into all its pieces. We've got things sanded, got our holes marked for the uh, recessing and putting the uh, screw eyes in to articulate it. And so uh, now comes the process of uh, countersinking the holes and then uh, touching up the finish. So we've got everything uh, ready to go now. Um, all the holes have been countersunk in the arms and legs and the body. And now it's uh, time to assemble. We see we've got the base assembled here, the uh, lower part of the body. And now we're going to work on the arms. Okay, so there we have our upper arm. And we'll continue along. Okay, we've just about got them all put together. We're just attaching the head now. So let's get its head so it can swivel. Okay, that looks like it's about right. And there you go, folks. What used to be a barn beam is now a salvage doll. Now it's time for the final assembly. I went ahead and made a... Uh, stand for him using um, the actual barn beam that he came from. I've saved the original surface, hand hewn. There's a uh, hanger on the back or you can set it uh, on the table. So let's go ahead and put our salvage doll on the stand. We'll insert the pitchfork and using a magnet we can attach his hand very nicely to that. And there you go folks. After about 12 hours of work, we've gone from a barn beam to a salvage doll. Alright, now the final step of making the salvage doll then is to put together a little booklet. It has my logo on the front. It has a short description of the story of this doll, and then a series of pictures documenting its uh, progression from rough barn beam to a finished doll. And that's the end of Potter's story. We called him Potter because he's from a barn in Potter County.